Today is November 9th in the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw the water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Erebus and empties into the sea the salt waters, which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature can multiply, that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. And wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees in every, of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall, they shall bear fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for the food, and their leaves for medicine. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This, the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran is <clears throat> kind of a curious feast, and I would imagine if you're a Protestant and you knew about this feast, you would be, what are they doing celebrating the dedication of a church? It's actually kind of a beautiful feast in this sense, and I think very human and relates directly to how Catholics think about sacraments, that God touches us where we are as human beings and what matters to us. The Lateran was the basilica built um, shortly after, maybe 10 years after, Constantine put it, uh, declared the Christianity uh, allowable in, in, the, in, the, in the empire. And Constantine, sometimes called the 13th apostle for all the building he did for the church, gave the money for this basilica to be born, built. And it was built within the city walls of Rome, not in the heart of Rome, kind of on the outskirts, but it showed the church kind of moving in. People are surprised to know that St. Peter's is not the Cathedral of Rome. It's the Lateran. The chair that the Pope sits in when he speaks as the Bishop of Rome is at the Lateran. It's not at St. Peter's. St. Peter's obviously is where the tomb of St. Peter is. But what's interesting about this feast for me is our church, our faith, recognizes the importance of place. All of us probably have driven past our childhood home. Many of us probably have driven past a childhood church. Many of us remember that place we used to go camping. On a more somber tone, in the month of November, we all have places in a cemetery, maybe where one of our loved ones is buried. And place becomes very important for human beings. We remember this is the place. Maybe you went to a school, a high school, and you said, this, oh, I just like to know it's there. How many people come back to Jesu and want to be married at Jesu or want to be buried at Jesu or say, this is where I received all my sacraments, right here in this place. You know, human beings are related to place. And today, we are celebrating a place that's very important to our faith. The first basilica, the Cathedral Church of Rome, from where the water of life has flown, as we heard in that first reading. A good way to celebrate this feast today might be to recall those places where the faith was passed down to you. Maybe it was Jesu School. Maybe it was Jesu Church. Maybe you drive by your childhood home. Maybe you drive by your grandparents' home. And remember that what happened there profoundly affected, in a beautiful way, the rest of your life. Today's a way to rejoice in how much place means to us. Today would be a great day to do prayers of reminiscence. Reminiscence of the people who have died because it's November, but also of the place where we met their love. God bless.